You're listening to the AfterBuzz TV Network. Now the largest new media platform on the web and your number one source for after-show entertainment. Very good, The AfterBuzz Studios in Los Angeles, California. Presented by Maria Menunos and streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies. This is AfterBuzz TV's Revolution After Show. We'll break down tonight's episode and get you all the latest news and gossip. And now, another post-game wrap-up show for your favorite TV show. It's AfterBuzz TV's Revolution After Show. I haven't worn jewelry in three weeks. Uh, it's sad you haven't so worn jewelry sad. in three weeks. We're so sad. Welcome everyone to this sad, sad day. <laughs> <laughs> it is the series finale of your favorite show, Revolution, episode 22. <laughs> uh, Declaration of Independence. That was like the most. <laughs> yeah, let's kill that. That's like, <laughs> you're killing my vibe, dude. You're Can I get some Jefferson vibe. Starship in here or something? Yeah, you build this city on rock and roll? Oh, it's Done. so sad. It's, it's so sad. Hey, guys, what's Cap. up? Yes. How's Anyways. Doing? <laughs> Great. I'm your host this evening, Francesca, and across from me are the lovely people Boom. in Boom. pretty colors. Done. Yes, I'm Megan Thomas. Hey, what's Hi. up? Ryan Hooks. Hi. How's Hi. it going? <laughs> I'm sad. Yeah. I'm a little, I'm not sad. I'm disappointed and angry, I think. Okay, are, are, yeah, are well, more... let's do this. Yeah. One sentence from everybody, your thoughts as soon as the credits came on. The heck am I going to do with that? Could have done better. This sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I was underwhelmed. If I hadn't eaten all my popcorn, I might have thrown it. Uh, <laughs> but... I was very underwhelmed at this. There it is. There we go. Let's pump it up a bit. Yes. <laughs> well, this is kind of fitting because when we open the show, we see Priscilla in her head with lightning striking everywhere. And Ryan, you're like, this must be when she's getting electrocuted. Right. And it was. And it was. So genius. Yes. With her two cute babies. Her two cute babies. Yes. And so Aaron, Aaron realizes this is a great time to keep... Because, I mean, we saw in the last... When they showed this last... We thought we, he gave up because he kept being like, uh, Priscilla, Priscilla, wake up, wake up. And then she never woke up. And then, you know, angry or nanite Priscilla Na was. Angry nanite Priscilla came back. Was like, right. ah. And now I'm really mad. In that voice. <laughs> In that, voice. <laughs> that was a perfect right. voice. In that voice. <laughs> <laughs> so Erin keeps calling and she comes back. And she had a moment where. The kids looked all creepy. Right. Like. The nanites were fit. Well, she, Rachel said you're getting weak because you could see the blood coming out of her ear. And like when she hit her, it didn't hurt her oh, as yeah, much. Oh, yeah, that's right. Right. So that was like what started it all, I think. Right. Yeah, and I guess, I mean, I'm glad the kids kind of like Got deformed. Because I think Priscilla would have wanted to keep staying with her children. What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah, I think she started realizing like, oh, wait, wait a minute. This is. This might not be Something's real. Something's not right here. Might not be real. Mm -hmm. It really reminded me of like a, a scary movie. I'm trying to think of which one it was. Like a cover of a scary movie with like the kids just eyes all like out. Right. It was creepy. What were yeah. you gonna say? Inception. Megan? It's Inception because oh. then you can like hear you. you In hear the dream Aaron state, you're hearing her. people talking. Yes. Yeah, so that's that's the, like when you're like sleeping and you think the phone's ringing. It's really your alarm. You know what I'm saying? No, it yes, doesn't never happen. happen. Nope. <laughs> Nobody calls you. me. <laughs> <laughs> True. Oh, no, I'm just you. kidding. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> but Priscilla comes back, and I'm so excited that she finally made it through. She's like, wake up, wake up, wake up. Who knew that's all you had to do, wake up? <laughs> not the, say, uh, wake up not what yourself. I was expecting or looking for, I think. But it happened. Right. I kind of wanted her to just, like, open the door. When she opened that door away from her kids, I thought that was going to be, like, open, and I'm awake. Mm -hmm. She was escaping through the door well. And I just thought, like, once she goes through the door, and then there's another, uh, there's another She's door, outside. and then she has to go, wake up, wake up. I just was like, that's, I didn't like that. I feel like the writers should have done something different for her to wake up. I don't know. Well, it kind of just ruined my whole thing about Priscilla being pregnant. <laughs> I mean, she could but be she pregnant could, yeah, in next she season. she could actually be. Wah, wah. <laughs> it's not too late. No, actually, there's a bunch of stuff on Twitter right now. Uh, right. Hashtag Save Revolution, Relocate Revolution. All the fans out there are pushing for 
right. the show to be picked up somewhere else, even if it's like a Netflix or a Hulu oh, type cool. thing. Right. Uh, even Amazon Prime could potentially pick it up. So there is a big push from people to do that. They started a petition that I saw. Right. So there's there's a lot going on in, in the world of the Revolutionites. It's, it's, I mean, it's technically it's not too late. They could technically pick it up somewhere. This may right. may not be our last it may not be. after Cap. But that would be kind of we weird, though, for, as far as Priscilla being pregnant. Like, she could still be pregnant, but she just got electrocuted, so... Oh. Made the baby really <laughs> strong. It's going to come out strong then. Uh, you Zeus-like. Know that's, so, that's so, like, it's, that's too much. It's pushing the envelope. We'll never know. Yeah. But she's back, and Aaron's yes. happy. And uh, then we, we go to see uh, where we left off last with the whole... Um, President in the courthouse. Yeah, and, and their little Texas Cal thingy fan. they were doing. What was it? Was it a concert? Was yeah, concert? they're having they a had concert. Somebody, like City Hall event. Yeah. Yes. And you. so last week we were saying, you think the Prez is on, in on it, and he was. So they go to leave, and then sure enough, Miles and Company. I, I did like, though, this week with the President, where they almost made you think that he wasn't in on it. Right. When he's like, oh, you had to do, like, they were playing the game against uh, Carver. And made you think that right. he was like, oh, you failed at this, and blah, you're going to get it. And No, no, I think that was true. I mean, technically it was, but like... No, no, I, I don't think he was playing when he was talking to... Are you talking about when he was talking to Truman? Yeah, in the basement. I don't think he was playing. I think he was honest, like, because you, you hear what Truman says. Truman says, that was plan B. Plan like, B. But it was, it was so, the way it seemed was, it was so, like, split second, because Truman knew... This short conversation is my death. Yeah. You're fired. Oh, yeah. so short course, conversation so, about know, your future. The president says that, so he's like, "Well, what else do I have to do?" So I think it was a split second decision. Yeah, that was definitely Plan B. Split. Let me go ahead and just kill everybody. That was it. And you see the look on the president's face. It's kind of like, "Oh, uh, well, good job. Wow." And, and, and he shot himself, himself in the, in the arm. arm. Yeah. Right. Ouch. Cray, cray. Um, yeah, I wasn't expecting that. Right. I mean, I was the second he realized. You saw, like you said, uh, my short conversation about my future. Right. Let me think fast. Um, yeah, I don't know. What did you think about that? I liked that he did that. It was it was a, a step in Truman's future because right. he progressed as the weeks have gone on into this sort of killer-ish character. You know, he's sort right. of grown a pair, if you will, and he's finally showing that he's willing to do what it takes. And if there is another season, I do think he would be the president of the United States. Or at least a major villain, because they ended it that way. I don't know, after what we saw at the very end, but we'll get into that we'll later. We'll get there. Right. So, we will get there. I was talking last week also about the amount of people that were going to die this week, and I said three. I, we counted two major people that were killed. Who? Uh, <laughs> Scanlan. Scanlan and Carver. They're both recurring characters, well, so true. they count. But, however, I did count that there were... 21 deaths this week. I mean, there's a lot of just, like, firing That's squads I mean. there was going like on this week. Three or four week. different just shootouts. So 21 people that were unimportant got killed. It was like Scarface. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Without electricity. Without electricity. And then we see the president call us Californians granola-eating heathens. Which we are. I happen so to like true. my granola. I don't like granola, so what? I like I steak. I was actually well, I like steak, too. Bloody steak and potatoes. I was happy, though. I was like, oh, granola's still around. Like, <laughs> they still eat granola. Well, you, yes. When, when I don't know why on. it was really weird to me later on when we saw porter potties. Did you guys think that was weird? I thought that was kind of weird. I know they're very, like, not technical or anything like that, but it they're was not weird. advanced at all. They're a hole in the ground. But it was just weird to see porter potties. No, I, I guess don't it know. is because, you, you know, yeah, you would think, like, that's kind of a, a luxury when you're out in the woods and you have nowhere to go and these guys have a porter potty. But then you think about it, like, they honestly. Had them, you know? Yeah, like, it's I, not I, like it's probably I know, hard to build. Weird. Well, it's not a plastic, though. But they were, would have already had them. Think about how many porta potties there are no, already available. But they really, look brand really new and clean. Yeah. They might take care of the porta potties. Sometimes you just got to go <laughs> in luxury. I don't know about you, but I'm not cleaning that. Somebody did. <laughs> Gross. Right. You got to go in luxury when you got to go. Anyways, so the president decides to spin this on everyone in town and says that Miles and everyone came and they're going to kill everyone. Um, and they were with California, so now we need a wage war against California. Yes, and He's everyone conniving agrees. patriots. He's just the used car salesman anyway. He's not even right. the president. I loved how the president had a sling on. <laughs> yeah. Like he was hurt. <laughs> okay, I didn't know if I just like blinked and I saw something wrong, but he did have a sling on. I know, but there's nothing wrong with your arm. At least Truman has like a shot, he you got know? He wound to the arm. Right. They should have did something to him. That was funny. Oh, and they found Marion's body then too when he busts in. So yeah, we can find Oh, yeah, Dr. poor Gene, who Megan's been trying to kill off all season. I have, I'm sorry, Dr. Porter. He's still I'm, alive. 
I don't know how you made it all season, but I'm Isn't glad it, you did. I told you, he's got the seventh heaven power of God. Right. Stephen yeah, Collins, does. well done. Praise the Lord. That sucks. He does see Marianne lying on the ground, and Charlie has to come in. This, you know, the the granddaughter, the young one, has to come in and be like, "We got to keep going." Right. Keep on persevering. Keep on trucking. And I know uh, Dr. Porter feels so horribly because that was his the love of his life, Marion, and he sent her to her death. But she was going to die anyway, I feel like. <laughs> she would have got Mary. gassed if she wasn't involved. Right. Yeah, so, you know, I mean, Marion, you were going to die at some point. So, uh, so evil. We have to, I told you, we have to kill people off in the finale. <laughs> I know, I so feel that's evil. just like a rule. It is, yeah. And I still feel cheated because they didn't kill enough people off, I don't think. Really? I don't. I just. I think there wasn't enough for me. Like there wasn't enough closure, even even as a a fin, say this was a finale and they were doing a third season. Okay. I still feel like there wasn't enough in this episode for me to be like, wow, that was a really good episode, or wow, I'm really looking forward to season three. Right. Like I felt like just at the very end there was a little bit with the nanites and that was kind of cool, but like as a whole, most of the episode was really sort of. Get underwhelming, as you right? Said. And I feel like this is the season finale, mm-hmm. in, series finale. I mean, a series, it, even both. even still, like if you as you're filming this, you at the time they didn't know that right. the series right. was going to end. But either way, this has to be the best episode of your entire season, regardless. And I really feel like it wasn't, and that makes me sad because I was so looking forward to this. I wanted to leave this show going. Oh, they absolutely have to bring this back. Oh my gosh! And I didn't. When the credits start rolling, I just I was like that's that's how you're going to end it? Yeah, that's how I feel, that's, too. That's how you end the season? Even if there was another season, you, you can't end it like that. This was not the best episode. Lackluster. You're right. And I, I, I just think, I thought the acting was really good in the show. Like, I liked Always. The, the growth of Bass. Yes, like, I that was, gonna, was cool. And he was going to bring that and up. And, like, that Miles is, like, trusting him. And then sort of Rachel got on board. And obviously, I always love Neville. So, like, right. I don't think it was that. I think just the story, like, itself. Yeah, I mean, a couple, couple deep moments right there, like you said. Um... I like Monroe, disowns, Monroe yeah. and, and uh, or even when Monroe. Connor confronted him too, I liked that part. And he's like, "I got to do it for for Miles, you know. Like he trusts me, right?" And it shows the the depth of their friendship. And I liked those parts, but for the whole of an episode, I don't know. And then one other, sorry, one other little touching at the end when uh, Charlie tells Miles. Oh yeah, you should definitely hook up with Rachel. Yeah, this is your chance. I you know I wish I had a chance with Jason. So me too. Uh, so doesn't? take it. <laughs> So take this chance with uh, Rachel. So I mean, there was a couple little like cutesy, moments. cutesy growth moments, but yeah, not enough action packed to keep. keep on well, tracking. I think there was a lot of action. Yeah, I just it was... think it just didn't end. Like you know, of course, I want to know what happens in Bradbury, Idaho. But is there as... is that a real city, by the way? We don't. I don't know. Bradbury. We'll have to Google it. Right. And if you know if Bradbury, Idaho is a real city, <laughs> let us know. Make sure you yes. rate, comment, and subscribe to our podcast, even though it's the last episode. Go back subscribe. and rewatch them all. Right. You can watch all of our recaps. Just subscribe. Go to iTunes. Search for After Buzz TV Revolution and you'll see us. Click subscribe. It's free. Rate, comment, give us five stars. Let us know. What do you think? Is is Bradbury, Idaho a real city or not? Or even one of the other 75 shows that we do on a weekly basis <laughs> in over 100 countries. 25 million downloads on iTunes. Right. I think we're averaging like Four million on YouTube now. Yeah, so YouTube's like, growing. Yeah. YouTube's got Something a big growth. ridiculous. Something Thank you guys crazy. for watching. And awesome. we have a comment on one of on our U- last week's YouTube recap. Dave one five 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 says that don't think killing Priscilla will kill the nanites. She probably will die, and nanites will just take over one of our leads, and no one will know, or maybe even take over the president if he survives. Good what? prediction. Good Dave. call on that presidential. What? He was in on the writers' meeting for sure. Yes, you were. Dave, one, five, 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 five. How many fives is that? Four. Four fives. <laughs> but yeah, definitely. I, so, of course, one of my favorite moments is when they decide to kidnap the president. And you see Neville and Connor and Skinlin staking out the road that the president's supposed to come on. And they hear shots. And, of course, Miles and company have already hit them. They quick. I mean, I think that should tell you right there. I'm sorry, Neville. Your army's not going to do nothing compared to what Miles and Bass together can do. Right. And he said, you know, I don't care what they do. I want to kill the president. He's ruined my life. But he can't. He can't. <laughs> Miles and co. are just too strong. Right. You cut the head off the scorpion, another one grows. Like, it's not going to. 
killing the president. That really happens? No. Okay, I'm not saying that. In in Greek mythology. Right. But (laughs) but I'm saying, like, the president, fine, you kill the president, there's going to be somebody else that rises in his place. You know what I mean? They all knew the plan. All of the top people know the plan. So it's not going to help just to kill the president. So, yeah, I'm sorry, Neville, you're not going to win that one. But then, of course, I do think it's important um, with, what's his name? Uh, 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 Neville. And how, um, oh, excuse me, Bass, and how he's been very, I didn't know, did you guys think that he would do the right thing? I kind of did. Yes. I felt like it, it was his moment. Season finale, he had to be He had to be the, right, the good guy on the right side, yeah. Miles Find had a, a good guy. <laughs> what did he, Miles say? He's uh, trying something new, prayer. All <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> he had to keep the faith, and I'm glad that. Monroe pulled through. Are you sure you don't want to hear what Rachel has to think then? No. No. <laughs> no one I kind of did. No, I think, but it's good though that he, you know, that at least at the end of the season we see that Bass does have a really good, he has a good heart somewhere in there. But it is kind of weird how he needs so much validation from Miles. M- I mean, they're best friends forever. No, no, but I feel like Miles is like the boss. <laughs> and At this point, And yes. Monroe is just kind of like following, and I feel like that's not an equal friendship. <laughs> right? I think it's always been that way, though. I felt like that since the beginning of the show, back in the original Monroe Republic, that Miles was really like the one that was kind of running the show, but he was letting Bass think that he was running the show or standing aside and then like cleaning up the messes right. as he went, and that's always been their friendship. It's almost like he was a little bit insecure, so he used this power that he had to kind of mask it, even though really he looks up to Miles. Right. Yeah, he always wanted to be like Miles. But to, I don't know, so then when Miles trusts Bass with the president and he goes off to the, I guess, the little rendezvous house or whatever that is, and Connor shows up. I really thought that Miles, I mean, excuse me, Bass was going to say, okay, son, you're right. Let's kill the president. Because that was a good plan. He said, kill the president. And then, of course, who cares? The, let Texas and California beat each other up. Then we've got the West Coast that we can have and possibly the East Coast. That was a good idea. Yeah. that You know, he's he kind of... Let him know, you know, Neville and Scanlan are watching. I have five minutes with you. Like, I'm, I'm trying to save you. They would have shot you if it wasn't for me. I'm your blood. But I don't know. I, I never really... You know what's funny? Because when they went to get Connor from Mexico in the first place, he was reluctant to go right. most of the time. So for him to kind of try to turn it on Monroe, even though they're blood, it's like... Yeah, like now, now suddenly we're blood and it's a big deal. Yeah. Really? Right. Yeah, like, wait, way to use it. But I, but I felt it. David Lyons, you're a great actor. I love you. Because he, I mean, I felt the, the sadness that and the, the overwhelming feelings that Bass had. Because think about it. He's telling his son, like, no, I'm promising, I'm promising you that we're still going to get our republic. <laughs> Just not this way. Right. And then, of course, his son's like, your word is no good. I mean, and there's a lot of ways that, that it could have <laughs> right. worked out. I, I, there were several ways you could think about it that it would work. Where if they killed the president or they didn't kill the president, you know, there are still alternatives for everything to work out in the favor of Monroe having a republic back with right. Connor and Neville at the helm. So it could still work out even how everything's set up now. Yeah, because, I mean, we saw over the series, like we are talking about last week, everyone kind of keeps flip-flopping, going back and forth to people. So probably Connor eventually would have linked back up with his dad. And I mean, like how it is now, they have Texas on their side. Like, Texas believes in them and trusts them. So now suddenly they have Texas, which is huge, to back them up. You know, they said they outnumbered four to one to the Patriots. Yeah, that's crazy. So just that alone is, that is enough, you know, <laughs> that they could take out the Patriots. And have the whole from East Coast to Texas. Right. It's crazy. So, what insane. Did, what did you guys think was going to happen when, you know, Neville started firing at um, Monroe and he ran into the little shed thingy with the that president? That Scanlon was going to get shot in the face? Well, yeah, you called that and it was like, woo, point <laughs> blank. Right. right First shot. I'll, I'll give it to you. I know, oh, right? <laughs> Monroe's a good shot. Yeah. I didn't know there was a back door. Did I didn't either. There's always Snaky, a back door. and they trap them inside. I would have lit it on fire. Why would That's you what, I would have lit, lit the whole thing on fire. So right. like, what do you mean? Ryan Monroe should have solved the problem. Monroe should have lit his son on fire is yep. what you're saying. At that point, his son doesn't trust him anymore. His son's trying to kill him. 
He's go. not gonna do that. If he no. can't even kill. I hope you never Miles, have children. He's not going to kill his son, <laughs> whom he loves. Hello. Hello. He's not gonna kill. Him. <laughs> And you know what? They never got out the rest of the episode. They were trapped in there. I know. <laughs> you see at the end that the little nanite fireflies come in and like show Jason to Neville. That was funny because I was like, hold on, wait a minute. They're, they're still, still in there. They're still in there. Like, nine times, like another day. Poor, you know, Neville. Like another just, two days later, they're still in there. Neville, just the, this whole series just always almost gets there and just gets chopped right. down. And it didn't stop. <laughs> Poor Neville. Chopped down and stuck in the thingy. I like when, before Neville came, when uh, the president, well, what would you guys think? You know when uh, someone's held captive and the person, you know, holding them, when they, when the cap, the person held captive Captor. starts talking, yeah, cap, thank you, <laughs> <laughs> starts talking to them, you're always like, no, because you think they're going to say something that's going right. to get them weak. And Did you guys think that Monroe was going to stay strong or were you guys like, uh -oh. That the president was gonna like the president was sway gonna maneuver his way out of this. Yeah, convince him. Yeah, I mean, he's talked his way into the presidency. So why couldn't he talk someone else into something? Right. That's what I thought when he was like crying, so something. Because <laughs> he had the tight. The mouth. <laughs> <laughs> he should have kept it in his mouth <laughs> and said like, right. "Go ahead." And I was like, "Don't let him say anything," because of course the president is a smooth talker. He's you know he knows how to manipulate with Manipulator. words. Manipulator. And so of course you see that he butters up uh, Monroe very well. And I was like, "Oh no, he's calling him you know one leader to another." You know all this stuff. And he so even I'm like, calls oh. him President Monroe. Right. Like, I, I know, know who you are, President Monroe. Buttering Trying him up. Trying to stroke the ego. Go, but it didn't work because nope. he was like, "I'll kill you as a consolation prize." I mean, that's even if we do lose. That's so still what? Good. Perfect. That was that's awesome. Still good. Yep. That's good job. Legit. Good job, good Bass. Job. <laughs> You're strange. Yeah. I am. I think we all are. It's okay. <laughs> we'll, <laughs> we're just sad and slap heavy because it's the last episode. Right. We're never going to come back here and talk about the show again. But that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Because it's okay. Because. Bass pulls through, and he brings the president to the church. And they, I think that's what it is. Right? It, it was like, is it a, it like was, old church? I was confused though because he was supposed to go to the rendezvous, and he went to the little shack thing. I thought that was the place, and then they ended up meeting at another place. He was like holding up in the shack at first, and then went to the rendezvous point. Well, I don't. I think it's because he went there to. That I don't think that was the actual rendezvous. Just to get some water. I, yeah, yeah. The water. He needed to tie the president up while he went and got water. Well, the thing too you got to think about is. Uh, the whole time, Miles and Dr. Porter and Charlie are on foot, so they can go in a straight line where uh, Bass had the horse and carriage, so he had to go around paths and stuff, which could have taken a lot longer to get there, you know, because he couldn't just go straight to the woods with his big horse and carriage. Where did just, he get the horse and they carriage? They stole it from the uh, people that they shot at the very uh, first shootout. Gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Where? Hold on, wait. Where? What? Did you remember when they were behind the wall in the very first shootout? He's like, "Go, take him, get out of here. I'm trusting you." Right. And then he, I know. He the, runs and the gets horse and carriage totally came out of nowhere. It was behind them. <laughs> it really no, did. It wasn't. You didn't see the horse and carriage. Yeah, behind you them. saw them run to it. It was behind the wall where they were like hanging out. You didn't see while the they horse were hanging out. Yes, you did. Though. I saw them hanging out. You're lying. Were, it was in front of you. It was not there. It was. It's not. Comment there. on YouTube and tell me if you saw the horse and carriage shoot it, because I saw it and no, Megan's blind. No, you saw that before they started shooting. Before you saw all the Patriots come over the hill what i'm saying is they ran down the hill and they ran to hide behind the the barriers. yeah it was like but that's what i'm saying you didn't see another horse and carriage to the side where they could just like put the president on and hide they they had one that's what he was riding okay, I mean, okay that's, that's fine what, that's when I they got say it they had one but i'm saying you didn't see it you did no you didn't yeah. i'm like second it? guessing myself right it now was, i promise you because then i was because that's the question i had when i see him get on this horse and carriage i was like hold on where did that come from i'm gonna from? go home and find it and send you a picture <laughs> you do that there. because i'm telling you i'm telling you i did not see the horse and carriage. obviously they had one but where was it because i'm like when he said go like with the when miles says, yeah go it looked like the they took off on foot that's what i'm saying to I'm the like, horse oh, and carriage but but which was right behind him. Whatever. Anyway, regardless, they <laughs> got away so on a horse confusing. and carriage. <laughs> I, don't, I don't remember anyway, either. Yeah, yes, and they get to the, the church, the rendezvous spot. Yeah, and then this guy we've never seen before comes in, a soldier, and I was like, oh, crap. Really? Right. I was like, how did they get there? Did they follow the how horse did, and carriage? Right. I mean, because clearly the horse and carriage is not quiet at night. Did you think like, it was sketchy that there was only like two of them? I was like, there's only right. two of them. They're just going to like lay down. It happened so fast that I thought I know, there were more fast. people at first. And then, yeah. Well, I then he that... said he's like, the unit's right behind us. But they weren't there. Like, they wouldn't go in with two of them against right. Miles. And right. I really totally forgot that Joe said he was going to go get some right. of his people. But yes, Joe came and saved the day. Which, 
asterisk, 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 asterisk. <laughs> I can't say that. Anyway, asterisk. Um, remember last episode, <laughs> Miles said that he was going to eventually tell Joe that he killed Dylan, his Joe's he son. Didn't. He didn't tell him, and this is the last Wait, episode. He said that. Yeah, yes. remember they had the con- we talked about this last week during the episode because in the show. He was talking to Charlie, and we liked the moment, but I was like, was it necessary? Because he's probably not going to tell him. Right. Right. He, didn't, I didn't, t- he did not tell Joe. There was no Joe. need to tell him. That's what I said. Okay, but that's what I'm saying. What was the point of him saying that last episode that he was going to tell Joe? That It was because they wanted Character to know why they could trust Joe, and because Joe was upset that his son was killed, so that's why. That was the only reason that... That was in there. I think you yeah. guys were overthinking that. it. I, no, no, I get that, but I'm saying that like you're overthinking the carriage. I just feel like he, if he, <laughs> <laughs> we're women, right? Clearly, it's not my fault. I cannot win this battle. I just feel like, and if you're wearing gonna, pink. I, we just knew. It's Wednesday. Look, you know what, guys? On Wednesday, we were pink. <laughs> go ahead, Megan. Go ahead. Go on. I'm just saying, if he, if Miles is gonna say, I'm going to tell Joe. I just feel like that's a whole, you know. I don't know. I just feel like he should have said. I thought this was the episode. Clearly, it's the last one Wait, I, where uh, Miles was going to say something to Joe about, "Hey, yeah, I was the one that actually pulled the trigger to kill your kid." Meh. He said he was going to tell him. That's what I'm saying. He did say. I don't remember him saying that he was going to tell him. He did. He, he told did. Tell last me that. week. Yeah. Well, I just, I just feel like it wasn't really relevant. And you're it was, wrong. You're, you're, we're no, right. I, I, I agree with you. It wasn't relevant. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, there's then why did he have to say that specifically last episode? They could have yeah. cut that dialogue True out. True that. Gave us another second of killing. Woo. Well, like I said last week when we talked about this, is character development, even though we knew he was not going to tell them because it showed the softer side of Miles when he was with Charlie. And that gave him a moment. And then it led, I think, into this week's bonding moment where he's like, you and so Rachel should bonding. give it a chance. Right. So much bonding. So in the church, we have, before, before the soldiers come in, Rachel's just giving him an earful. Right. So it w- he was... Her boss's boss. Boss's boss. She went to his barbecue on Independence Day. The irony. <laughs> How clever. The irony. Right. It's not really ironic, but go on. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, and so then when the soldiers come in, President's like, ha, in your face, Rachel. Blah, blah, I blah. am America, lady. I'm, I am America. And I'm, what do you guys think about that? He said America doesn't want to know the truth. They just want to feel like they're safe. And you know, we're always talking about the little political like things they and sneak in. Yeah, they sneak into the show. So what do you guys think about that? I mean, I think it's kind of a true statement. Very true. I know when people always talk to me about like conspiracy theories and all that, I'm just like, nah, I don't care. I don't want to listen. I just want a coffee and some popcorn. <laughs> right. Exactly. Where's my Starbucks? I just want to be safe. <laughs> no one's bothering me. Where's my McDonald's and my Starbucks and all these big I mean, corporations? And that's true. As long as you're making people feel safe, they don't care how you do it. I just want to know when I go home and lay my head down, I'm okay. Well, mm-hmm. Francesca, you are not your khakis, just so you know. Wait, what? You're not your khakis. I don't wear khakis. Okay. <laughs> I, that was over my head, whatever that was. That was for Steven in the booth. <laughs> he got it. I know he did. Okay. Okay, anyways. <laughs> so, um... Oh wait, let's side. Let's go back to when uh, Jean went to go get the old general Blanchard. Old Aust- what was his name again? General Blanchard. He wasn't the one with all the the hookers and stuff. Yes, right? that, that was, was yeah. okay. That's- Remember, like the he was girl tied up tried and she was to spanking kill him. him. What, what did she do? She sl- she stabbed him. Or yeah. She- well, Remember, she was like spanking him, and then he came in, and then he, uh, Miles and Monroe were spanking him. Wait, wait, wait. What I'm saying? <laughs> oh, yeah, that, yeah, what, yeah. What, how did he get hurt? It was the girl. The girl like, like stabbed him or yeah, she stabbed him. him or something, right? Okay. Oh, so that's why he was in the hospital, right? Okay, right. I, I thought he died. I was yeah, I was a little blurry about that. I was like, is this the same guy or not the same? Okay, it was. So, well, I guess Miles thought he died too. He said, yeah, hopefully you'll find Blanchard. True. I think he's yeah, okay. I think so he's he okay. didn't know. True. Either. So I like that actor, it, he's like taking over Texas now, I guess. Yes, because he, I, I believe, was a former general. general general president of Texas. And then I guess he retired, and then General Carver took over. So I guess until they have elections, or however they do it in Texas. It's like, By pick an orange. Gun. Pick By an way, orange, any know, orange. Right. If you don't get typhus, you're... You are the president. You are the they do it by way of the gun. Okay. Right. Whoever can like shoot the apple off someone's head. I don't think that's what they do. <laughs> then you're the president. That seems like a, the Texas way. It Perhaps. does. Right? It does. Texas Ranger style. Right. <laughs> So yeah, apparently, I guess he's the interim president. Yeah, and, and he's healthy Carver's enough dead. to come in and to the church. Which with just brings me Joe back to my everyone. point of enough unanswered questions that like left me kind of like. Ugh. What are some? Of Maybe your- this is your calling to write your like 
my memoirs about revolution. <laughs> <laughs> Just rant. Right. You're... About things that didn't get answered. Okay, Take so over wait, Aaron's so, journal. Okay, so yeah, give it. So what was something for you that wasn't answered? Well, that there's a lot of stuff that wasn't answered because they left it set up so that they could go into the next season. So right, technically, right. the president and Neville. Uh, and Truman are all going to go to this place in Idaho, and then they're going to have the nanites take over their bodies. So, but the nanites have also turned back the power on. So, like, what's going on with the nanites? What's going on with Priscilla being back? Can Aaron and Rachel still control it? Whatever happened to Peter? Well, you're jumping into things we haven't talked about quite yet. And there are things that were never talked about in the episode, <laughs> though, either. So, right. I'm just throwing spaghetti at the wall and seeing what sticks. Well, these, I mean, obviously they have to do that because then where else would this show go? Right. There would be no reason for, you know, relocate revolution if they Save answered revolution everything. Save revolution hashtag. Yes, there would be no reason. So I, I see why they have to have those. They have to have, leave some things unanswered. Haven't you ever seen that before? Jimmy Kimmel? Yes. And hashtag. Is it Justin Timberlake, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> hashtag. Hashtag it. Hashtag relocate. But of course, we see Dr. Porter convinces General Blanchard to come to this church in the middle of nowhere to hear yep. what the president says. Primit president incriminates himself. Yes. No, they tricked says, him. Right, right. They trick him, but he incriminates himself. No, the president says that. No, they, they, oh. they, they influenced me. Oh, yeah. yeah. It wasn't they, my fault. No, no somebody else. They else's. coerced. Co coerced. Co coerced. <laughs> they coerced you? Coerced me. Coerced me. Asterisk. 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 Words that are weird to say. Right. <laughs> That's a whole other show. <laughs> right. So, of course, the, um, he says, I, what did he say? He said, I rape Texas and pillage kill California or something. Something like that. It was like uh, that horrible. A little extreme. Right. But, of course, that was enough for General Blanchard to go, get him, Rangers. Wait. Get him. We're going to get him the... Get on the horse and carriage and yeah. head back to Austin. They head back to Texas or wherever, Austin. The they Ranger come camp. in. The Ranger and Company or A Company, right? A Company. A Company. A, it's a, a Company. <laughs> but it would be Company but A it was, if it was. It was yeah, uh, it's a, what is it? It's like the Patriot Camp in Austin, right? So it's mostly Rangers and a few Patriots that are right. not dead. Right. And they just massacre <laughs> all the packs. Like, way to waste bullets on three people. Use, that like, 27 dramatic. bullets. That was dramatic. I love that dramatic scene. All of a sudden, you see sexy old bass Coming come right in. in the middle. And then what does he say? This is the end of a treaty. Boom. So dramatic. It was and dramatic. then all this can fire for three people. Speaking of, like, cool, kind of cool dramatic, back when they were uh, fighting off... Once they kidnapped the president and they were fighting off the people, you just see that other, like, round of soldiers coming over the hill... That was pretty cool. Uh, yeah, this isn't going to end yeah. well. We got to go. <laughs> Bye. Later. Uh, let's peace out. So, yeah, they, and then you hear, they're in the camp, and you hear them say, kill every patriot you see in sight. And Ed comes out of those porter potties, those clean as whistle <laughs> porter potties. And he's like, oh, shit. And he's like, my, my fly time to go. <laughs> yeah, I'm running away. I'm out. Right. And, of course, then that's when Charlie has her heart-to-heart -heart talk. What happens after summer? Because the Patriots are going to beat up the... No, the Rangers are going to beat up the Patriots. They're going to get Willoughby after? back? Yeah. I mean, so, yeah, what happens after all of the Patriots are dead? Who's in charge? What's going to happen as right. a, a government in terms of is there a government? Is it just going to be crazy people killing each other? Are we going to get all walking dead? I mean... <laughs> Unanswered questions. A lot of unanswered questions. Right. And then, of course, Priscilla reveals what happens. Oh, yeah. By the way, when I was getting electrocuted, I saw things. <laughs> and it told me that they're going on to find other people. And take yes. cool. the Work world. With them. The nanites want to control and have mindless people walking around. But That's see, like... Creepy. And make the Patriots look like Boy Scouts. I understand that they yes, can control Scouts. people and basically take over their mind. But what happened to... The previous, when they talked about it before the show kind of changed direction, in Aaron and Priscilla and Peter's ability to control the nanites. You know, because they created it. So, like, that just seems weird to me. Now, suddenly they've evolved and now right. they can do whatever they want, but there's no way to stop them because no one can control them. But yet, previously, they were able to be controlled. Well, that's what I'm saying. I think she said that because... Obviously, they're machines, so they can be controlled, but I think... And they can be they killed. Right, 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 but they just don't know how. Priscilla doesn't know how to do that, so I guess that's why she says what she says, which is, we can't stop them. Right. Because, well, you obviously can, because you thought that they couldn't stop the nanites in your body, Priscilla, and you did. You woke up. 
So there is a way to. Peter was just a special kind of nanite controller, I guess. Generally, and like with real technology and nanites, generally they're programmed for a job, and once the job is complete, they die. Right. So. So if there's a way to figure out how to program them to do something, they could eventually kill them as well. Mm. If we're getting scientific on it. Wait. So do they still? You remember back when Aaron was in his little dream sequence? Mm-hmm. Oh no, they did write the code that made the nano. Never mind. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say they finally solved the code. Right. I was gonna say thing. maybe there's still more to be written, but no, they, they, I mean there could be still more to be. The written. self-destruction code that could have right. essentially killed them. And, and we turn the mics back on. Yeah. Or blow up. Good the job, world. Aaron. <laughs> well done. Ruining it for everyone. But yeah, now that everyone's. So I, I thought it was crazy how um, Priscilla says that the nanites are going to go after people. Who, I guess who's. Would you say their mind is weak or their mind is controllable? Uh, because I feel like I they, don't know if they're necessarily weak. Yeah, I don't. I don't think they're weak either. But they're I feel accepting. like they, they, they went to the people that are searching. Uh, yeah, and they already have like kind of people following them, not you know, in different capacities that they could do something with them. You have the president of the United States. If he's telling you guys to do something, he's already manipulated it where he's gonna say, I was kidnapped by Miles, I was kidnapped by California, blah blah blah. They're gonna follow him. He already has a big following. Then Neville, he I mean he's he always seems like we said, he always gets his way even though he gets cut down. He always is manipulative and you know whatnot. And who was the last person they showed? Truman. Truman. Truman, yeah. We said Ed's been, you know, growing and developing over time. He's getting people to believe him and follow him, too. So these are three guys that are potential to bring a big following. If the, You know you know what I'm saying? Right, but I just think it's like, okay, so you're going to bring, okay, Nanites, you're going to bring Neville and the president to the same place. No, and Neville wants to kill the president. Maybe they're going to they're gonna set them up. Oh, no, you're right. They all want them to go to Idaho. They are, they're all going to the same place. The big clown's mouth. Bradbury, Idaho. The they're going to have like potato the ice cream. That has da, 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 electricity. <laughs> I did like that they used uh, Jason to appear to Neville instead of Julia. Because we we're talking Julia about that just, she might come yeah. back, but she right. didn't come back, so we never saw her, so we're assuming she's dead. Julia or, just never came back. Or she might still be alive. We never know. We don't know. We That's don't know. another Hashtag an relocate re revolution. It's another thing we don't Season know. Season three, we need you for unanswered questions. Do you think that was interesting that Marion came back as Ed's person? I think that no. showed that he really loved her. Because if you think about it, everyone who made an appearance to these people was somebody that they loved. So there's Jason, right. you know what I'm saying, for President's Neville. Dad. And then, of course, the president and his father. And then... Marion for I know, Ed. but he shanked Marion. He, he did. did, but he told her that he loved her. He did. And took the necklace back. He did. That's expensive, girl. Diamonds are hard to come by. Shoot. Like that was real diamonds. Come on. <laughs> it was. It was CZ. Nanite compressed rock. Right. Yeah, I don't know. And I'm we're kind of left wondering that. just a little nanites floating Hence. through the vents, floating through whatever and coming at them. Right. You so this it is before, creepy. I'll say it again. Underwhelmed. Yeah. I mean that little like that the, the the smile. I was thinking what like Cheshire Cat. No, it looked like a creepy carnival. It reminded me of Doctor Horn. Like that's what <laughs> right. I was thinking about when right. I was like, oh, it, like looks like Doctor Horn's big weird bald head. <laughs> dun, dun, dun. Yeah, I don't know. So yeah, just kind of the last scene. And there are people there. And then they're just like people walking, zombily -like. walking <laughs> the <Zombily>. lights. <laughs> it it, it, it said, is a verb. I made it up. It said wastelands too. So like technically the, Idaho right. is the wastelands. Right. I mean, it's just potatoes. <laughs> And it's cold. With no. Is it, is it really cold in Idaho? Yeah, with no electricity. I mean, yeah. Oh, I thought you made it in real life. Like, I've never been to Idaho. No, like in real life, it's cold. I mean, it's, it's you know, north it's of California. Very, very north. It's, it's like yeah. close to. Almost to Seattle. Yeah. It's Almost between, to Canada. It's between California and Washington. It's up there, buddy. No, it's not between it's California and Washington. No, Oregon. It's, it's right <laughs> no, next to Oregon. It's to the right. <laughs> yeah, right next to Oregon. <laughs> right. It's closer to Canada. We're getting close to Canada. Okay. But Just yeah. Saying. Lackluster, underwhelming, yeah. sad, bittersweet. Wah, wah. So if 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 this were to get picked up by another network or whatnot, what would you like to see in the imaginary third season? And now you're after Buzz TV prediction for a season that may not happen. Probably not. Um, I would say I want I want Rachel. Aaron and Priscilla to come up with a way to defeat the nanites. Mm -hmm. I also want, um, I want that I want Bradbury, Idaho, to be like 
the place where everybody wants to go to because it's jumping. I'm it's talking the about place. <laughs> right. It is jumping. It's the bees' it's knees. The electricity. Okay? But I feel like everyone will be like, "Hello, it's welcome." It's the cat's pajamas. I want to see Neville rise to power. Yeah, maybe he'll be the leader for this one, for this place. What do you got? Where you at, XOXO? I still want Priscilla to have a baby. <laughs> a weird nanite baby or just a normal baby? I don't know, because, you know, her her daughters were so important to her, and right. she never saw them ever again. So it's time for her and Aaron to start a happy family. Right. and Aaron had declared her, his love for her. That would be awesome, that she's the love of his life. Love of his Leave it with hope, not terror yeah. like me. Yeah, and I don't know, maybe lights will just go back on and... Maybe the more people that come to Idaho, the more, like, power the nanites grow to turn right, the they lights. have a little army. And, um, I, yeah, I don't know. It'd be interesting, though, to see how it would possibly be developed. And you think, what about Charlo, guys? Hey. Hey. Hey, it's still She's looking for somebody to love. I know. <laughs> right? I, and don't I think, I really want still want to find out to that love. Charlie is Miles' daughter. daughter. Like, I really want that to happen. That'd be pretty cool, too. More unanswered questions. Yeah. Hey. Uh, that's it's it. It's so sad. I'm going to miss you guys. Wah, hugs wah. across the table. Air hugs. Bye. Tell us where we can find you guys and what other shows we can follow you with. Uh, you can find me at RyanHooks92 on the Facebook, the Twitter, the Instagram, the Snapchat. <laughs> I'm currently on The Turn after show on AMC. It's about the American Revolution. Starting a new show coming up this summer for... The Three Musketeers is on BBC America. It's Whoa. called The Musketeers. It has Peter Capaldi, the new Doctor Who in it. Ooh, cool. Check it out. It's going to be sweet. Yeah, and I'm Megan Thomas. You can follow me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Meg Scoop Like Scoop of Ice Cream. Hit me up because I'm going to miss you guys. And if you'd like to follow me, I will be on Orange is the New Black After Show and After Buzz TV coming up this summer. Woo, woo, woo. Yep. You can find me, Twitter, Instagram, and the occasional Vine, X-O-X-O-C-E-S-C-A. And uh, you can find me talking about Devious Maids on Lifetime. And I'm going to be starting up Mistresses soon, too. So, yeah. Oh, that's going to be a good panel. Woo, woo. What? Uh. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other after shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Bye, everybody. Bye, 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 bye. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals. Thank you for watching AfterBuzz TV on YouTube. For more of your favorite after shows and interviews, subscribe to our channel here, and be sure to share your opinion on the episode in the comment section below here. We'd love to see what you guys are buzzing about. Thanks again. Buzz you later.